Hello everybody, my name is Retrolyzer. And I'm Total Refund. And we're going to be continuing with part four of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Um, day two investigation. In other words, we've just finished wrecking Edgeworth shit. And now we've headed back to the detention centre where our client, an Illuminati acolyte named Maya Fey, has been taken to get, I don't know. Oh, who the, what? We visit her. Oh. Miss Gobblecock? Yes, little Miss Gobblecock, the third. Well, hello, I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. Pass the weed! Pass the weed! <laughs> Never have I seen such dank shit as this! It's really quite moving. If from any other person I would have understood, but it, she just makes it sound even more sexual. Papa Frank, you got the dank weed, man! Papa Frank! Not you. You not. You stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Oh. For a moment I thought, you know, we could we could get married. Maybe have some kids. You know, share the dank weed. That's the weed. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. <laughs> Sorry, but I've got more important shit to do than laugh at someone as pathetic as you. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Cut to the fucking bone! Madame, my head is not spiky. Stylized! <laughs> Here we go again. Eye twitching and everything. Please, you're scaring the security guard. I mean, he's the one who actually has to stand in there with you. Couldn't you just lock them in? So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? What, she's back to fucking normal? Yeah, she had a she's time fucking, of the month. She's fucking bipolar. Like, her and Cole Phelps from L.A. Noir would be perfect together. Bullshit, Phoenix. <laughs> Bullshit. I know what you fucking did. Right, that man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Wait, wait, hold on. We're on, we're on the Cole Phelps thing. Let me just get my cigarette. Just, nope. Does not pertain to the case, does it? Optimistic, Phelps. Optimistic refund. This does not pertain to the case, Retrolyzer. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Oh my. Hmm, maybe I had something to get her to talk. Oh, fair enough. The wiretap. Let's see what she says about this. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. It is. It is a criminal offence. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? It's called it's called university, you stupid slut. Creep. Whoa. You just you, you hurt me so much. I th I thought you were the one. <laughs> Say, why are you so angry? Well, you just got wrecked by some pleb, literally. So even His some... second case ever, he got fucking destroyed. Indeed. I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. But she's a bad person. Ooh. Well, she's certainly got some personality issues. I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? It's against you for being such a complete cunt in court, for wrecking her shit. She cries every time. Indeed. Let's see what we've got. I hope she rests in pepperoni. <laughs> I cry every time. Right, since that's pretty much everything that we've done and we've absolutely learned fuck all, it's time for us to move on. Let's see what we've got back home. We should get amazing Tyrone, uh, big man Tyrone, to do a uh, channel trailer for us. Maybe. That'd be fucking cool, wouldn't it? Yes. That's like an idea. Let's put a... Uh, Put a uh, Kickstarter. <laughs> mm, Everyone see. pledge five pence. Maybe we'll get a Big Man Tyrone to do a channel trailer. Mm. Meanwhile, they apparently um, came, they fucked shit up, and then they left. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around. Well, it's your own fucking office now. Or well, sort of. I mean, it could be someone else's. So let's see what we've got here. Let's. Check what's on the bookshelf. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Well, what 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 what, what do I do now? Is this it? Oh, no. I'm, what about you sniff the bit of carpet where her arse landed? That's obviously the uh, First course thing. of action that Phoenix would take. Yes, perfectly clean as always is her what her desk is. The only thing that's missing is Mia. On the desk. Oh my, you've got some strange thoughts. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, just on the desk. Oh, Phoenix, take me. Take <laughs> me, Phoenix. Oh, God. I guess I'll have to water the office plant now. Wait, does that, did that just have a name? Mia's favourite potted plant. Oh, okay. Now what? I mean, there's fuck all that needs to be done now. What's, what about the painting? An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. The Notebook. <laughs> Sorry. I had to say that. That's it. That, there's nothing else that needs to be done here. There's fuck all that... Meh. Okay, um, we'll go back to the Gatewater Hotel and see what we can find. Probably nothing. Because... Oh boy! Oh, there you are. Hello. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, thanks, dickhead. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today oh. can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wipes up. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Apparently, being in a place where murder occurred is, is a good thing, and apparently a tourist attraction. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Fucking interesting. I know. That is just... Oh, my God. Never in all my years did I expect to find something that was so intriguing about iced coffee. So, do they remember the people who manufactured, you know, the cyanide and things like that for the Nazis? Do we remember his name? No. So he will always be... That the bellboy that no one remembers. Indeed. So, you are our honoured guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Well, bring me iced coffee. I want to taste that shit. It's probably going to taste cold and disgusting. Miss May. Oh, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her, she'd do it, I said. Do what? Wait, what? That... If that was the case, then he knew beforehand that she was going to commit murder. Like He's that. accessory to it. Indeed. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... Danger. Really? He looks very dangerous. Indeed, you know, constantly, you know, on the, on the precipice of bowing with, with a fucking tea set. Oh yes, oh so dangerous with that slight tinge of lighter hair yeah, that swaths back from the right side of his face. Yes, I mean, look at that. He's a br he's clearly a brunette, but now he's got fucking highlights of ginger. Intriguing choice. Why would you want to be ginger? Why would you want to be ginger? <laughs> this is coming from me. Why would you want to be ginger? Oh dear. Right, let's find out about the hotel, although I really regret asking. Could you tell me about this hotel? And on that subject, I have an excellent idea. Well, no shit, you work there. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I never noticed. Yeah, you know, not, not exactly when we came. I proposed that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Oh, 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 the originality of, of, that, of that attraction. I'm gonna need a second one. Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set, dickhead. This was... That, that was a fucking waste of time, too. See what this game drives me to? What? You see what this game drives me to? What? Smoking cigars? You smoked that before we even started. Smoking them more often. Oh. Right. Looks like Grossberg is out today, again. Oh, hello. Hello. The what happened to his painting that he would never give up, ever? Well, maybe he sold it for a million pounds or something. Was it? What was it? Four million pounds, wasn't it, for that particular fo partic photo? For that particular waste of money? Yes, it was. You know, what was it? An oil painting that reeked. It was a painting of uh, Marvin Grossberg, the fat space whale. Fisherman. Yeah, it was a fisherman, and he had a straw hat and shit. It was a very memorable. He, Phoenix doesn't know shit. Well, what about what about this? 
What's this on the desk? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 incident, exhibit A, DL6, exhibit B. Sure, well, let's have a look at the first one and see what it's... Hello. It's a person. Wait. Profiles. Is it Maya's mother? The resemblance is uncanny. The Holy nose. Shit. The nose is certainly incredibly similar. Yeah, they think that I think this might be um, an aunt or something. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo, and it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Great. Quietly added to the court record, also known as theft. Apparently, Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright are both exactly the same. Oh, hello. They did do a crossover. So. Remind you of anyone? The Cogniferous... The purple. The Cogniferous Bastard. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Yeah, sure. Why not? Might as well. Fuck's sake. Really? Why can't I take both? It would make my life so much easier. I don't even... Well, if that's the person who works for him, then... Oh, hello. Show it to her. You again. Can't you take a hint and stay gone? What? How do you even English? It's because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? They're not speaking English. They're speaking American. Yeah. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Phoenix Wright, skinhead lawyer. Yeah. Right. Let's see what she does. First they were in Poland, now they're in the courthouse. Nazis, back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see what her reaction is to this, because we know it's him. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Aha, a reaction. And not a good one. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? You're, 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 you're stupid. Your, your autism just, is just phenomenal. Really? How, who, what, when, why? Couldn't you have come up with something a little bit more believable? You know, like, well, why don't you tell me who he is? Because I don't know. You know, something that is a little bit more believable than just random question, you know, words. You're checking usual. My are Fuck's sake. No, that's not nice. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof that was him? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's it? We still haven't done shit. Bellboy! Show it to the bellboy. Ah, yeah. Since he was there in, at check-in. So, we'll show it to him and hopefully something else will, will get more evidence. I don't know. Right. Present the photograph to this pleb. Hopefully we'll get something else. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. You what, mate? Wait, why have we got logic and trick? Because we're getting somewhere. Yes, we're making progress. <laughs> I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. Oh, he's a romantic and <laughs> useless. <laughs> yes, without a doubt. The logic music is gone already. That was easy. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? Sure, why not? Sure. Sure, might as well. Have him write it, might as well. It's evidence. <laughs> I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Wow. The bellboy who caught the murderer. The bellboy who brought the tea. The bellboy who breathed. I wonder if he's a playable character in the later games. I hope not. I hope so. This guy's brilliant. <laughs> not even Miss May can play dumb to this bullshit. You need so you need a fucking witness for this shit. <sighs> right, let's go back and talk to this this bimbo. I was wanting to talk to Maya, but I end up with this slut. Fucking Gloria here. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man. Yes. Ease her fears. Or push, push her, her hard. hard. I don't think it really matters. Push her hard. Fine. Or, mm, 
Softly, softly, or...? Push! Play well. bad cop. Very well. Renegade for life. Alright. This is all it. Oh, we've even got suspenseful music. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. Nah, she's fucking stupid. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. Oh, get wrecked. Delightful. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Oh, we win! Told you! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Clean forwards, Miss May. I'm gonna burn you with my cigar. Now tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate named Blue Core. Red, white, and blue. Mm. Red, white, and blue core. I'm the American stereotype with my cogniferous attitude. Miss Fay, I deal in information. Is that a poke at Americans destroying the English language? Probably. I hope it is. Well, I suppose you could call them a detective. No, it's not a detective agency. It's a fucking gossip column, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's a gossip column. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm I'm scared to talk. You're smiling while saying that. <laughs> You're in a fucking prison cell. It's not a prison cell, actually. It's more along the lines of the holding cells that you have in any prison. It, well, not prison, but no one can hurt station. you in there. Hmm. She's surrounded by cops. She's surrounded by security cameras. There's one right there in the top corner. I don't want to end up like her. You don't want to get murdered. Wait, that's it? That's it, we know. We, 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 we have something. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Yeah! Discarded the bellboy's affidavit. Oh. He's gonna cry every time. Yeah. Right. Well, what about... Let's see if... Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say that. No! I want to escape. It's just the same shit again. Fuck. Let's go home. Just... Get, get ramen noodles because I'm poor. Well, not poor, per se, but... No, no we're no, poor. No, we really are poor. Did we ever actually get paid? Shit. Nope, still nothing. Right, Grossberg, let's see if the fat man's come back. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? Oh! Get wrecked. Fucking shots fired. Oh, there he is. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, my lung. Do you want it, Phoenix? <laughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Here is the fat man. Inquire about the painting. Aha, uh -huh, you again. Um, hello. Well, well. You were quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me. The trial, the trial. He was there. Well, he's pretty hard to fucking miss. If you looked up into the gallery, you might have noticed him. Reminded me of myself when I was in the youth. What was it? Scent of fresh lemons or something? I guess something got passed down through Mia. Maybe. Maybe. It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that even work? You know, ah, uh, the days of, you know, when I was um, a, a garbage man. It was like the scent of Worcestershire sauce on fucking toast. It doesn't make pardon. sense. It doesn't make sense. I apologise. I was reminiscing about Worcestershire sauce on toast. He was reminiscing about his painting. About his fucking ugly mug. Okay, it, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I, well... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. Right, well, what's wrong with him? Painting. Painting. Yeah. Painting first. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting. It wasn't really pretentious, it was a picture. It was literally just a painting of fucking fishermen with a sunset and everything. Pretentious-looking. See, even he's a bit confused as to why Sir, you it. Sir, it is not pretentious-looking, it is pretentious. It's a painting. Where did it go? Ah, yes, well, I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. You said you'd never get rid of it, and you said it cost you four million pounds. Or dollars, or whatever. Shit. You sold it. Nope. Something else happened. 
something. I er uh, sold it. Really? The er uh, part gives it away. Yeah. If anyone says I er uh, something, they're hiding something. Yeah. It's hardly, you know, it's two words, well, three words, I sold it. You don't need, you don't even need to, you know, even remember that as an event. I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Right? Oh, the puns. A wrong, Mr. Right, a wrong. No, no, I'm sorry, it's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled. Well... To be fair, the guy has his eyes closed most of the time when talking. He's so, guilty! Guilty! He did it. He did the murder. He sat on Mia Fey. Fucking booty bounced her head in. I don't know. God, that... And that's what I call a thunder stomp. <laughs> Something was bothering me all night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly, for doing my job for me. Pfft. Yeah, what a cunt. Right, so, I don't I don't really know what we're meant to do. I mean, maybe we should show Picture. him... Picture! Picture! Yes. Might as well. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back! No! no. Get fucked, old man. Who is this man? We've already found out who this man is. If he knows who it is, then he's got a connection. Yeah. Oh, he knows. We had an exclamation mark on its own. Are you quite sure, my boy? What has him so flustered? I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Um, no. A rather large stone. Oh! He's a boulder. Return what is he doing in my swamp? <laughs> Great, now what? You you prick. What are you doing in my swamp? swamp? Silence falls. And then everybody shits themselves. Now what? I mean, go to Blue Corp. Blue Corp. Ooh, fuzzy fuzzy. Oh my god, there it is. There it is. It's beautiful. It's delightful. It's horrible. I know, I mean, look. Is that a man's bicep holding up? Is that feet on the desk? That's a man. That is a man holding it up. It's made of solid gold. That must be incredibly uncomfortable. Solid gold men. And look, Blue Core, fucking planet, which is green. Huh. Hmm. With so, Red White is Captain Planet. Also has a really strange fetish with men holding up his desk. He's obviously a little bit of the uh, <clears throat> persuasion. A batty boy. A faggot. <laughs> oh dear. A bundle of sticks. A bundle of sticks. <laughs> what a poor chap. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your persona. And kill yourself. <laughs> okay, Mr. Kill Yourself. Your name, what's your name? I was what? just inquirably asking about the title that you go by. What's your name? Fuck you. I don't have a common name around these parts. <laughs> what? Inquirably? Is that even a... That's not even a real word. No, it's not. Mr. Right, is it right, I see. Splendiferous. What? Kill yourself. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my a giant-esque vocabulary. Well, apart from the fact that it's fucking made up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> What's this guy's problem? Well, the guy's a complete prick. Corporate expansion official. Oh, my. He knows big words. Oh, I'll He's... show him my official expansion. <laughs> I've put on weight recently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Okay, the Illuminati. Illumin. This is this is it. This is the Grand Magi or something. This is it. This is 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 everything that we've been looking for, ladies and gentlemen. The individual who controls the entire universe. Is a gay man with a really shit haircut. Oh my god. Red. Red is on the opposite end of the colour spectrum to green. The Illuminati triangle is green. Red has three letters. The triangle has three letters. The tri he has triangle has three sides. He has yeah. two eyes. He has two eyes, right? Yes. Right, right. Two is one more than one. The Illuminati has one eye. Red, white is Illuminati confirmed. Whoa! Also, so I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. 
wordily. What? Please. See, even Phoenix is um, on the right page. He's a fucking fruitcake. <laughs> Phoenix is on the mm, right Let me page. guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you c would come to meet me like this. It's probably because you're fucking poor. No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yep, he is an arrogant prick. Oop, we have suspenseful Present. music. Present. 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 Oh, we we didn't. We had the photograph taken. Well, no, actually, wait. What about the after the something? The wiretap. Present the wiretap. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is this is his shit. About this wiretap. Ah, the one that Miss <clears throat> May used, right? Bad girl. Bad bad girl. She testified that she placed the wiretap at your request. How pathetic, I guess she's trying to pass the buck. Bad, bad girl. Sorry I can't help you, I know nothing. Shit. We got rid of the affidavit. Uh, the affidavit was discarded. The fucking photograph was taken off us. Why was the affidavit discarded? Because apparently we didn't need it anymore after um, Miss May confessed. Oh fucking shit. Well, it's gone now. So, let's talk about everybody. Miss May is an employee. Well, yes. She is my secretary. Real people use the term secretary. Secretary? Is that a cross between a secretary and a salariac? Um, no, I think the term secretary, because um, the term is used for um, a particular sub-body of uh, the United Nations. It is literally um, probably just, you know, to suggest... I don't know. I think a group to do with administration. So when she said, when you when you say secretariat, you mean a group of people. Yes, a group. You know, that perform the same function as secretaries or something. He, something like that. Instead, he's using that as a singular. He has a very stupid mind. Odd vocabulary. Yes, he he doesn't actually know what she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. <laughs> sure. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. Well, that's what wiretaps are for. You've just contradicted yourself. You've got to think what vocabulary he's using as well. Is it is it me, or is, or is he a bit like Rupert Murdoch? He was recently, um, you know, got his shit wrecked for um, phone hacking. Oh, fucking no, he's just as useless. Yeah, well, I mean, Rupert Murdoch, <sighs> I mean, he actually had intelligence. This guy, fuck me. There must be just air between his um, fucking ears, you know, just shine a pen light in one ear and it goes straight out the other. Yeah. Who can say, I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Kill that... yourself. Wow. There is no words that can explain how how pathetic that particular motto is. Sure, it sounds noble, but no one has any reason to not worry. There is always a reason to be afraid. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. We will, if we get the opportunity. You'd be capable of doing that. Well, yeah, just prove relevance and then we'd have a perfectly good reason to... Oh... Can we actually call witnesses? I think it's defence you can. Well, I mean, so far, the only witnesses that we've ever actually had called to the stand have been from the prosecution themselves. Sure. So, is it then? does it then raise the question of whether the defence has the right? I mean, we have the right to present evidence, but we don't have the right to present witnesses. Is it going to be like one of those scenarios <laughs> where they just bring a crazy person on the stand and say, Aliens did it, you can't disprove me! Ah. Using the religion argument of please disprove me, I've said it's true thus it must be, please disprove it Well I think that's that's just, you know taking the concept of testimony or at least, you know, the concept of burden of proof and then just reversing it because I mean, in a court of law, if you claim something, you've got to prove it, you know you can't just say, my client's mad prove me wrong That that's unreasonable, because you've got to have something that suggests that they're mad in the first place, you know my client, you know, he stabbed her 36 times, pissed on her, and then decided to go and um, shove his dick in her mouth. There you go. This clearly shows that there is something incredibly wrong with his mind. Otherwise, he's just, you know, a bloody necro necrophiliac. Which is probably... Um, That's still fucked up. That is still, you know, that is probably still a mental illness in itself. I mean, 
sure, everyone's okay with, you know, people having sex in latex suits and stuff, but... Dead people? There's a fetish for everything. Yes. However, there are some that are, you know, just questionable, and there are some that's just downright crazy. There's fucking animals, and there's fucking dead animals. Well, both of them are real. Ducks. <laughs> both of them are wrong. Yeah. I think both of them are illegal, too. Yes, they are. Buggery, wasn't it, for this country? Yes, it's buggery. Yes. That's a very, very old one. I know, that was around in, you know, bloody, hun you know, 1000 or something. We're talking about really far back in terms of um, English history here. Did you know, there are some states in America that will let you fuck an animal that is, I think it's over a certain weight. Really? Yeah. It's fucking weird. Hmm. That is, that is, I think we might have to actually check that. And uh, I See, I've heard it yeah. somewhere, and don't call me Fant out Fantabolistic. Fantabolistic. <laughs> what? I don't even. But, but anyway, just... There's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. It's not yours. Just, I've seen it before, but it's not fucking here. Oh? Yes, actually. Your point being... My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. Oh! Oh! Oh, get that camera! Get that- Mummy! 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 Oh! oh. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch Zipponada. It's not very nice. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. There you go. We have our proof. There's a connection. Ugh. Oof. Wait, what? He punched you. Oh! He bitch slapped you, Phoenix! Are you gonna take that shit? Fuck him up! What will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found gi- Huh? What? What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. This is some corporate corruption bullshit. What? Is that control? Well, yes, actually. Control of that kind is easy. Remember, the most powerful thing a person can do is own a newspaper. Because in the end, all of us, humanity itself, is really easy to, um, you know, lie to. Manipulate. Yes, we're all really easy, you know. Because we all have expectations of people in power. You know, we expect them to be perfect. So, as soon as, you know, in some cases, as soon as, say, a politician turns out to be gay, they end up having to resign. I mean, it's stupid, yeah, because being gay is perfectly fine. And yet, they still have to resign because people are like, mm. Oh, he's a batty boy. Mm. Ah. You know? Oh, or, he's, a, he's a minority now. Ah. Mm. What a shame. You came here from... Yeah. I mean, it is literally that easy. I mean, you don't even need to have direct proof because, you know, most newspapers have the wonderful catch-all term of saying alleged. They don't even need to have positive proof. They just need to at least have something that suggests that X might have happened, you know. Yeah, that's called trial by tabloid. Yeah, trial by tabloid. In, you know, um, happened, I think it was with um, Michael Jackson because the tabloids yeah. were all... Oh, oh, he touched, touched children's. Kids. And then, of course, as soon as, um, you know, the verdict came in, he was found not guilty, and yet people still believed it. You know, when are the newspapers ever wrong? <laughs> just, you know, that's... I so, almost laughed. I know. <laughs> that's just stupid. But really, that is, is, it, it is as easy as it sounds. So, Phoenix, seriously, just think of common sense. Turn the whole public against, um, you know, someone... What they think becomes reality, no matter how wrong it is. Phoenix it, wrong, was it? You know, um, actually, I think um, Hitler actually came up with a really good quote. I think what he said was was that if you say the I'll same lie, yeah, if you say a lie the right amount of times, people will believe it. Yeah. Only on this channel will you ever hear Hitler did something right. What, and that was how to become a really good liar? And also the fact that the only reason he actually ever became came to power was the fact that people believed him. And belief is a really powerful concept. It is. 
Mm. But uh, for the moment, we've got to get back to investigating. Yes, even though we're probably going to have to go to the toilet and, you know, cry for a few hours since he just wrecked your shit. I don't even. Right, let's go back. See what the fat man has to say. Nothing. Nothing. He's dead. Nope, he's actually blind. Maybe I should clear my throat. <coughs> Jumping Jehoshaphats. What the fuck does that mean? Progress. Er, progress. What's wrong? You looked so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. Well, considering that the man is fat, old, and ugly, he probably is. Also, that, that you know, fucking heart attack that he's got is coming. He's like, remember when Stephen Fry was quite porky? It's like Stephen Fry, but with a moustache. A little bit. Well, I mean, Stephen Fry's improved quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Mm. Stephen Fry's lost a lot of weight. Also, Stephen Fry is far more intelligent than this prick. Yeah, he's a really cool dude. Indeed he is. Wonderful man. Right. Oh, everything's pretty much removed. Let's see what he says about this. I paid Blue Core a visit. Oh, 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 I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. And what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... I found your painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. Yeah? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Core, Red White's office. Yep, yep, struck a nerve. Just cut that knife deep, Phoenix. So, you noticed. <gasps> well, considering that there is a huge imprint on the wall where it used to be, it's hard not to fucking notice. I guess he's being blackmailed. Probably. Considering that, you know, he is a detective agency of salt, air quotes. Probably just, um a huge repository of information on anyone that's important. Judges, yeah. everything, because you know, regardless of how perfect a person is, there's always something that we're ashamed of. Regardless of how, you know, trivial it might be. And I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. Your lovers. Oh, yes. Um, oh, Grody Burger, come Maybe. back to bed, sweetum. Maybe he's more like Stephen Fry than we imagine. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I went there. You went there, and I wish you wouldn't. Stephen Fry is a wonderful man. Yes. Your lovers, let's go for that. No, 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 blackmail, let's be serious. Yes, but still, just, you know, what what, what must they get up to in bed? Fucking whipped cream and everything. No, oh, Grody, I know you like it kinky, darling. Your oh, Grody Burger, the squirty cream is ready. You don't want it to go to waste, do you? It is magnificent. And whipperous, I sure. <laughs> Mr. White is fucking black. Oh, yep, that's right. Fairly gaudy proof. It wasn't gaudy, was it? It was actually quite a nice painting, considering it was pixelated. Why, didn't you like it? An oil painting that huge, and it said it was lathered on so thick, it would stink. <laughs> yeah, but still, you know, I mean, the picture itself, regardless of, you know, how much of a smell it makes, it was still quite nice, wasn't it? It was okay, it was nothing more than mediocre, though. Oh, okay. Very well, this may be the chance I've been waiting for. Oh no, he's going to confess that he's a slut. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe it's time to get this off my chest. <sighs> You've got a lot of weight to get off your chest, mate. <laughs> and everywhere else, for that matter. Indeed. After all, you were Mir's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. Oh dear. Let's have a look. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidate. Well, that was easy enough. He just punched us to death. <laughs> You punched out all my blood! Blue Core is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses. Told you. Just, you know. Blackmail. All you need is information. I've been paying them for 15 years. Fuck me. You've been blackmailed for 15 years? I'm surprised all his hair hasn't... Well, I can actually understand since it's gone fucking grey. So, all because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the photographs. <gasps> as you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me. He would have he would have smashed in your back doors. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know about you and the White Grody Burger. We know about what you do in bed. The squirty cream is coming out. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Well, that's true. How it, what? How impossible? Why? Because information, Phoenix. Ideal. He has information on impossible. everyone. 
It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. Well, that's good enough for me. Might as well just, you know... Give up now. Yeah. Give up. I mean, how are we supposed to beat that shit? Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Well, you've certainly been overeating, and I think you should, um... See a doctor about that. The weight of many years. <laughs> <laughs> but why were you blackmailed? Well, let's have a look. It was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. So that's Aww. where this. So that's where this all comes into it. That was Maya's mother then. Hmm. Which would explain it, since the only mediums that we've met so far are Mia, who's dead, and Maya, who's only how old is she? Seventeen. Let's have a check of the age. Profile should have the age on it. Seventeen. She she wouldn't be around for that, or at least she'd be too young to be involved in a murder investigation. She would be too. Really? Why? Ooh. When was it? Um, fifteen years ago. Oh, okay. They couldn't let people know, but one person found out. I I told him. You moron. Told him. You told Red White. He was involved. He offered me riches. It was an embarrassment. It is an embarrassment. Wow, he was that fucking easy. So gullible. So no, he was he was bribed. He just got paid a fat sum of money. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Yeah, they would have wrecked your shit. And so, White. Yep. Had the information. Indeed, White knew. You know, it's okay to be the one on the side who was told, but being the person who said. You're dead. Yeah. Only this time the offer was blackmail. So in other words, you fucked yourself. Smart. <sighs> Have a close look at Mia's office. Actually, I think I know what he's talking about. What? Files were missing when I checked um, the bookshelf. Oh yeah. So do you think something might be? After all, they did. He did say that there were papers in in the side that clock which has been removed. Yeah, there may Which, be copies. Somewhere. Well, maybe copies, or at least he might have actually, you know, went through the files as well. It did say that it was a record of every single case that she's done. DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago. I received a request from a medium. A sp you received a request? What for? Right. Indeed. She was Mia's mother, okay. She had been investigating a murder, right, okay, at the bequest of the police. Is bequest a word? Yeah. She failed. She failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. Wait, how did that work? The police called her a fraud? Well, think about it. They went to a medium. The medium, you know, does her stuff, which is apparently getting out a Ouija board or something. You know, then says, killer did this. You know, there was actually a really interesting case at one point. What happened was, um, there was a case, a murder investigation, and basically what happened was, um, they... The jury went out at the end of the case, and it was still rather, you know, iffy on whether the suspect had done it or not. So instead, what they did was, after they'd been deliberating in the jury room, they went to um, a hotel and um, used a Ouija board to um, contact the dead, the victim, and ask who did it. They then returned um, a, vic um, a verdict of guilty. When they found the um, court found out that they'd actually, you know, used. Um, a Ouija Fucking board. Ouija board. They um, had the entire um, trial overturned, and um, they had a retrial on it because it... that's a fucking stupid way of solving a murder. Indeed, it's supposed to be the common sense of people, not fucking superstition. <sighs> but anyway, oh uh, fuck the world. Hmm. He needs more time. Oh right. Well, there's no point in going to about these last two topics to talk about. Let's see what else we need to do. I mean, we've been to Red White. We got our ass kicked. Is there really anything else that needs to be done? Right, no. let's have a look. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. And out there, let me talk to her today. Oh, is that it? Well, oh, yeah, back to the office to check those book that bookshelf. Yes, we it's, need to check that. It's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Well, there is no longer a dead chick sat sitting by the window. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Hard to imagine a murder takes place anywhere. This makes me <coughs> noise. Oh, God. Right, so it was the bookshelf. 
Apparently, some of the files have been taken. All the cases the chief ever worked on. Yeah, blah 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 blah. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. DL six. A B C D. Yeah, filed A to I. Let's see if there's an A record in this that catches my eye. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill Phoenix. yourself. A B F. Misty Fay. Where's C to E? He's skipping. He's fucking skipping. Hmm, should I take a look? Well, no. Leave it be. Nah, I'm too fucking bored. I'll go and... I have tarnished the Fey name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. Oh, okay. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP that runs in my... Fa ESP exists. No, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for Richard. Oh, okay. The other was the man who sold that information to the press, Red White. Oh my. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... The record stops there. It's been taken. Oh, come on. Phoenix, it's really that easy to make the connection. Sure, there's no direct proof, but... Shit. God damn it, Phoenix. Do you think there might Stop being such an idiot. Do you think there might actually be more? Since there's three sets of files. Possibly. Check R for red, white. That's... It's J to S. J to S, yeah. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Oh, W then. Skim. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here are at the end in S. Suicide. That's what, grim. What's suicide got to do with this? She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Oh, this is starting to make sense. Indeed. I mean, think about it. If you have, a, if you have an iron grip over someone and there's always the constant risk that he'll then drop you and drop you in the shit for his own gain, suicide could actually be the way out. Oh, hello. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. Yep. He's actually driven people to suicide. Murder by proxy. Murder by proxy. He drove them all to suicide. The despair of being completely powerless. Let's find the most disturbing one. Wow. So, we have a newspaper clipping. And what does it say? Is there is there anything that's actually mentioned? Newspaper clipping. Article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written in pen at the top. In other words... The poor man killed himself, simply because he made one simple error. I don't... I don't even. This is everything that's wrong in the world. I know, there are just people who are so cruel. So, let's see if he says anything. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White as unexpected. <coughs> you could present this in court. What? It doesn't prove anything. It's, it's literally just a report of the fact that someone killed themselves. Sir, you were an, an idiot. Not a it's bad a start. It's a start, but there is nothing to prove the connection. Well, what reason would um, Mia Fey have to lie? And it can't be written after it because it's in Mia's handwriting. Hmm. Maybe going back. No, there's no point, but. Well, aren't you persistent? What? Oh no. I fear a nasty accident may occur. That's totally, you know, original. Transparent. I can still talk to the cunt. Don't present the suicide thing, he'll use it against you. Night of the murder. This guy's a pro pulling the wool, right. Stop that, your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Oh my, Rez. Oh, darling. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence that I can use as ammo. Well, what, what, what? Well, the suicide thing. I guess, I mean. But that's hardly proof of anything. It's pressing him, though, because that's he knows he's connected. True, I guess. He could slip up if he's a complete and total moron. Right, um... Put this guy on the spot. Well, um, well, might as well. We've got nothing else to lose. Just yeah, fuck it. It can't go any worse. Yeah, the only thing he can do is bitch slap us again. 
This is the only clue that Mia left me. Mr. White, see this? Look at this article! I'm gonna prove this is your blackmailer! What you gonna do? Get his, gets fucking murdered. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. Oh my. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia! She had a farm filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labelled with a single word. White. Oh, hello. Single question mark. I mean, exclamation mark. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Blackmailed him. You spied on him like a bitch. Uh, take your clothes off. Yeah, take your clothes off, you little bitch. Yeah, look at those socks. <laughs> you were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds. Christ, the power must have been beautiful. This company is built on blackmail. Well, yeah, I mean, what else does dealing in information do? I mean, your heart right is right. Naturally, I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Oh, hello. Beep interphone. What? Wait. An it's in for phones inside the building. Hmm. Well, it could be an intercom slash phone. So it's one unit? I don't know. Eh. Secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right, you're wrong. I don't get it. What's what's the question for? Just is it it's a bizarre accusation. It's not really, but I don't know, what do you want to say? Let's try we're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapering her phone. Then, Mia was murdered. And all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Oh, wow. He's actually grown a brain cell. Let's celebrate. Woo! No. Uh, time to get drunk. Uh. You did it. Yep, that's it. We've just set... Oh, dear. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Excuse me? What? What's this? White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. Uh-oh. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. Oh, God. The mere Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? This is intriguing. Oh, and one more thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. Excuse me? Is he seriously going to pull that shit on us? I, is he really going to do that? He's doing that. He's fucking going there. He's actually going to say that it's us. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. <sighs> Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me. Well, that's it. Done. What's yep. What? Just find the nearest bridge, jump off. I mean, look at that. He's even got, you know, the individual who pros well, not really prosecutes, but or oversees every single prosecution in the country. Well, not really the country, but at least the state. Fuck. What's this? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. Ooh, harsh words. I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Mia, Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. Defend ourselves. The concept yeah. of self-representation occurs. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look, incomp look competent. Oh, okay. I cry every time, you know. I, it's not like I've caught a murderer before with, with, my, with my beautiful lawyer skills. I hope you rest in pepperoni, Retro. I hope you rest in pepperoni. Holy fuck, it's Detective, Detective, Detective. Here to beat our shit. Butts. Hairy butts. 
Woo! Wrong. wrong, wrong. Wrong. That's not. That's not us. Right, actually, Phoenix. Right, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. But was that murderer right? Do you even? Detective Gumchu, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. You what, mate? <laughs> then why- wait, why the note then? Why the note that says Maya? Explain that one, dickhead. Just- are they just gonna literally just sweep that note right under the carpet? Fuck's sake. That's it. Detention centre. Have we really be- we've been fucked. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Great. And the prosecution is going to be... <sighs> so, we're going to be facing Mars Edgeworth again, who's going to try and wreck our shit. We're going to wreck his shit, because in the early trials, he's a fucking idiot! Yes, wasn't he just... It was a little bit dense. But anyway... I'm guessing this investigation is soon to be over and it will be time to also go and pack in this video. After all, we can't go and uh, do an entire trial. Unless, of course, people like two-hour videos. I don't. <laughs> yes. How many people does that man need to destroy? Well, the thing that satisfies him most is the fact that, you know, he's got 1,000 people that he can call to his office for squirty cream parties. Or as, um, Including Mr. Karate Burger. Or, to use the term that was coined by um, Silvio Berlusconi, Rumba Rumba Parties. Oh my. Oh my. Um, well, help me break out of here. Nah, just cheer me on and call. Cheer me on and call. I need a cheerleader. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Yeah, sure. Short oh my. Yeah, short skirt and everything. You know, fucking pom poms. Do that. P H. O E N E E X. Yeah! <laughs> a, uh, 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 Phoenix! Yeah! Fuck. That guy! Did you, did you fucking see that? What? She actually said that she was gonna go off and get a uniform with pom poms. <laughs> what? This makes me very moist. What, what, what? Wait, 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 I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way! My dream of becoming a cheerleader died! She wants. She wants the sea. Christ. I've got to give that man a. P no, he'll get you fucking removed. He will have you removed from the gene pool. Remember what happened to your sister. Yes, she ended up being removed from the gene pool and she didn't get a Darwin Award, did she? <laughs> it's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. That's oh. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. This cunt is the problem. Tomorrow the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it, it's me or him. Chances are it's going to be us that are um, going to win. And, you know, because this is only the second case, so it surely yep. isn't that hard. <sighs> anyway, after this... Oh, arduously long video. <laughs> Indeed. Although, it's actually comparable to pretty much everyone else, since all of what we've done so far has been literally just um, an hour long in terms of length. Yes. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let us now go and continue with what's in the preview boxes today. Top left, we have ourselves Professor Layton and The Curious Village. Puzzles, um... Apparently the Leighton Mobile also reminds Leighton of puzzles. Um, we, we committed some more trespass. And also, we also get to now play Interior Decorating Simulator 2007. Just all the fun all the time. All the fun. Just so what much. What else do we have? Of, well, in terms of what we have ourselves in the top right, we have ourselves 40 Winks, the bane of our life. Bane of my life. Fuck you, you haven't had to play it. True that, true that. Although, maybe I should have um, a chance of playing it in the next episode that we have in store. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well. In the bottom left, we have Resident Evil, the director's cut. Spooky as fuck, yo. Too spooky. Indeed. And in the bottom right, we have Crash Bandicoot. I suck. Really hard. You're not the only one. Crushed we both my suck. soul. Crushed my soul. I know. And you with that... <laughs> 
That joke, Jesus Christ. Kill yourself. I know, I'm so sorry. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to go and check out the rest of our videos if you've enjoyed what we have so far. And of course... Have a terrible evening. And from me, ta-ta.